Hello everybody, this is Sharon. Long time no see. Um, just been busy, so um, hope you guys are doing good. Um, I have a couple of mini albums and a card I wanted to share with you guys. These are um, for um, a client that asked me to make them, so they are not for sale. They are already sold. Unless she decides she don't like them, and if she does, you know, let me know that she doesn't like them, then I will list them in my Etsy store. So, um, these are 6x6, six six, both of the mini albums. This is this one, and here is the other one, and I'll show that one in just a few minutes. We'll show this one first. Um, this is made with some paper that I picked up at Michael's. I think it's, the call, it's named um, Blush Glam, and it is... Um, some, like I said, by Craftsmith that I picked up at Michael's a while back. And they still do have that because I purchased some more to make the other one. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the front back covers and the spine are with heavy weight chipboard. And then I layered this cardstock here like a craft. I did some pink and then the paper collection. Then I layered my little Magnolia Tilda girl. I think she turned out so cute. And um, for the, the mini album, I use the Zig um, Real Brush Markers to color all the images. The card that I'm going to share with you guys is colored with my Copic Markers. But um, this right here came from the paper collection. It says, You Make Me Smile. I thought it was so cute to go for this mini album. Um, I did a double seam binding bow here with a little bling piece. Um, a couple of flowers, some laces and trims that I have over here. Um, this right here is a charm, a bottle, bottle cap charm that I created and used a little bow. Some charms here, and that's the way the back of it looks. And she had um, seen one that I, um, a mini album that I had created earlier, maybe two or three years ago. And so it's based on that mini album. <clears throat> Excuse me, she really liked that one, so it's similar to that. So we're going inside here. And so on this first page right here, just have the Magnolia Tilda Girl. Um, this came from the paper collection. This is a Martha Stewart punch that I used throughout the mini album. And I have a couple of tags here. Just some small little tags she can put um, some pictures on. And then this flips down like this. And she has a big place here. And this is also a little pocket she can put some pictures or whatever. Um, I have a couple of flowers. And then down here we have another place for a picture or she could journal there. These are um, held with magnets. So this one right here is a pocket page and it has a little bow here. It says today I, and you can list things that go there. I left the back of them blank so she could um, journal on that if she wanted to. So that just slips back down in there. You have another magnolia tilde here. Um, a couple of flowers and a bow and these pretty lace trims here. This one opens this way. And you have a place for a picture here and here, up here, and then um, a couple places here for some uh, tags. And she could use these throughout the mini album if she wanted to. And um, so those are really cute little tags there. And I'm sorry if you hear my little dog barking. There's probably going to be somebody at the door in a minute, but we'll go ahead and get through if we can. And so that flips over that way. And then this one is just a, um, a acetate page. I just have three tags in there with some bows on those. And um, this is a little place she could list some things on there if she wanted to. And they slip back down in there. Have a couple bows here and some really pretty trim I picked up. Um, I think it was off an Etsy shop. Another bow there. Um, this page right here opens this way and this way, like a gatefold card. And then I have another uh, tag in there where, you, you know, you can put more pictures in here. Um, a couple of flowers there. And then that closes back with the magnet. This page has um, like a little booklet. This is lovely. It opens like this. She could put her pictures here, journal here and picture here and these two pages are basically the same um i have my little magnolia girl here so cute i love love them i guess you guys probably already know that by now and then i have another booklet here it opens like this and there's the back of that one 
and um and then this one right here you have your next magnolia tilda girl here um it says it's a beautiful day and that came from the paper collection some more of that pretty lace trim uh this one flips up i believe and you have a place here for pictures here and this flips open you have a place here and then i have another tag that says best day ever and that just slips back down in there and she could put more pictures there if she wanted to this one over here has some more tags here with the little bows um it's just a pocket page and then you have your pretty lace trims and your flowers a little cute magnolia tilda she's so cute and then this flips open this way too and you have three more places here three more places here and the martha stewart punch there then this page opens this way you have another magnolia tilda girl here some more tags that just slip down in the pocket more lace trims and flowers and this one flips up and you have some more places up here you could put pictures as well as down here with three more tags and then this page is like the first page have your cute little tilde um, some more flowers a place that you could um, you know journal put um, the date or whatever a couple more tags uh, this one flips down and you have a place here you could put some small pictures a couple of them maybe um, some pictures up here and then there's the Martha Stewart punch again so that's that one and I love the front of that one I think it's so pretty and then this one's basically the same so if you guys don't want to look at similar to that one um, you can just kind of skip through this part but I did want to share it in case she's watching the video so she can take a look at them um, like I said, this is a Magnolia Tilda here. Some more flowers. It says, I love life. This is a Magnolia Doohickey die here with a little um, acrylic or porcelain flower there. Some more pretty lace trims. I have another charm there. Bottle, bottle cap charm. And that's the way the back of it looks. And this one opens basically the same as the other one. It's the same layout. Um, some of the Magnolia Tildes are different, but you have your two tags. Um, this came from a paper collection. A little Magnolia Tilda girl here. This flips down, and you have a place here and a place right here that you could do some journaling or could put pictures. And then this is a little pocket right there. This is basically the same, like I said. So I'm just going to quickly flip through um, so she can take a look at this. Um, a pocket here. This flips open, you have a place here, here, and then this flips up, and then you have a place here, and I included two photo mats right here that go behind this Martha Stewart punch. This is a little different from the other one, I just changed that up a little bit, and then you have this one here, another acrylic um, page here, some more tags, some more lace trims and bows. Um, this one's all a little different. I included this um, pretty flower here, and it just lifts up, and this flips open, and then this flips up this way, and then you have um, another tag here behind this Martha Stewart punch here. It's another little pocket, and that just holds those together, and you have this page right here. Um, another pretty magnolia tilde with bows and flowers. Um, another little booklet opens this way. And there's the back of that one. And then this one's the same way. Um, another folder um, or booklet and some more of the pretty lace trims there. And then this one opens this way. It's basically the same. It opens here. And this way. And then you have a tag here. You could put even more pictures here too. Um, behind these tags if you wanted to do it that way. Then this one is basically the same as the other one. You have your three tags. It opens this way and you have three more. Three more here. Then it flips over. You have three more here. This is this a girl right here. I made this on my computer. You have a couple of flowers there. 
Then this one opens this way for more pictures here and here. And then this one you have your Magnolia Tilda here. This is beautiful. It has the flowers and the more little tags there. And then this one folds down. You have a place for pictures here and here. And this is a pocket. And you can put more pictures here. And so that's the way the back of that one looks. If I didn't already show that. So that's the front of that one. That was really cute. And then she had already um, purchased this card from me. And she wanted me to make another one like it. So this is one that I've already shown similar. Um, I did have to use a little different color of green on here. Because I didn't have the really the dark color. So I colored her a little bit darker. And um, did the stick pen. Has the lace around her. Um, I colored her with my Copic markers. I thought she turned out really, really cute. Um, then I have a butterfly here with another one layered on top. Some little beads here. Some lace trims in the back. I did a little, um, I call it fillers um, that, we, that you just kind of put around the flowers to make it fuller. A stick pen. Um, I have this beautiful die across the top. It's a butterfly die. And I layered some flowers in that. Some pink lace trim on the sides. And this is a magnolia doohickey die right here. Then it just sits up on these pearl beads right here. And then this trim is the same as this trim. And she will have a place right here where she can write her sentiment. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, the mini album. And I especially hope that she likes it. Likes them. And um, so I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.